Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is me, the mysterious cameraman. But today I'm going to be talking about fan films done right. Don't mind this x wing stuff because that is not what I'm going to be talking about. I'm talking about something else, but we're just not up to that yet and I don't have any other photos. So this is a very interesting video because there's a lot of different important parts of fan film. Things like directing, editing, camera work. Um, camera work doesn't have its own section, but a lot of them have these good qualities and there is a fan film for each quality. And Marvel Sleepwalker is the first fan film I'd like to talk about. It outstands in the directing category. It is directed, and directing also goes under things like, um, like, sh sh like camera work and stuff, and all of that is great. The cast seems to be having fun on set, and that is some not something you always see with a fan film. You need to have actors who enjoy what they're doing. And if you don't have actors who enjoy what they're doing, your film, your film's going to go out, like, out the window. Besides that, the shots in this film really are great. And it's not just that, but like sets also go under it. Like A lot go on, goes under directing. And so much is done well. Like All the sets, they're not green screen. They're real sets. And that's not something you usually see with a fan film. It usually it is green screen. Or just in an open field or like a dark room that you don't really see like so many sets. And like some of those things just like look so different. And they don't seem like they're like trying to do anything special with this film. But they really do well. And then this film is literally about a director. So like it also has that little quality that it can use to its advantage. And I like that. And it's not terrible but like it is a fine little like thing to be like look i'm watching a film about a director directing a film with a sleepwalker in his head and the main character really is the standout for me he really knows what he's doing and like the side characters as well acted out well and directing in this is like not script that doesn't go under directing but what does go under directing is some is like so many of those other like category things that just need to like happen in a fan film and this fan film does so much well and it took a while to release and this is one of my favorite shots with him in like the air he was such a great character and i'm happy that they did introduce him in a fan film like this because he really does look amazing in the shots he's in Besides that, like, the acting isn't terrible. It's not great either. But, like, overall, this is really an outstanding directed fan film from Sleepwalker. And, yeah, I can't wait to see more from Marvel's Sleepwalker. But that is it for the directing. Next up. Next up, we have the acting category with Sisters of House Black. This film is amazing. It has... Perfect story, perfect editing, not perfect editing is the iffy part, decent hype, amazing edit, um, directing, spot on music. This honestly could have went in the music category, but it didn't. It has the best acting I've seen in a fan film in so long. The Bellatrix character. Literally feels like young Bellatrix the Strange. It literally has that field of anger and sassiness that Bellatrix is supposed to have. Which I never thought I'd say it has a field of sassiness for Bellatrix the Strange. But it does. It has the field of like sassiness and weirdness. And I never thought I'd eat Bellatrix has sassiness and weirdness, but it does. And then a drama dub we don't see ever in the films. But I think this is kind of what you see for, like, an outsider meant for love, not for whatever their parents say. And that's kind of how I feel with a drama dub. That's, that's how I envision a in drama dub as a character. So that's cool to see. I think that's actually a cool scene. And then as for Narcissa... It's cool. I think Malfoy's fine, but, like, Arkissa really is, is good because, like, it's kind of how I envision Arkissa, and Voldemort is exactly how I envision Voldemort, but that's all the time we can talk really about the acting. 
all three sisters are amazing. And Narcissa really is amazing. Next up, we have the editing for Darth Maul Apprentice. So, the thing with this one is the acting in it isn't great. But if you remember what I said in my own scene, my own video, I remember I said it is a really long fight scene. Just like X-Wing. And that's something I've actually noticed with a lot of Star Wars fan films. They are really long fight scenes, not really developed stories. Like, they really want to show off their talent in their editing. And it's not just this one. It's like, there's also like X-Wing. And there's even Sekiro, which kind of is them just showing off their editing. And then there's, um, P Pants, I'm not, I'm not Spider-Man, I'm... But with that, no disintegrations, which even though it has story, is basically a massive fight scene. Because there is so much fighting, but like that's the only one that like is a bit different. But like this fan film has so good editing and but is edited so well. And it's not that it is some fan films aren't, but like this is outstandingly better. Like this is one is outstanding compared to some of those other ones. And like even just look at this shot, it looks like they're actually having a Star Wars fight team if you were to stop it. And that's not something you really see in fan films. And that's why I like it so much, because even the acting in it isn't bad. It's not bad acting. Like, the acting in it is fine. But, like, the editing is just so good. And that's why I like this fan film so much, because it just has so good editing. Besides that, that is all I can really say about Darth Maul Apprentice, but the editing in it is the best part of it. Next up, we have next up we have Gambit play for keeps with story. So this is a bit of a controversial one I'd say because I don't think this has great story, but it does. The entire story of it makes sense. And that's why I like this one. But, like, it's not great. It just is great. And, yeah. And this fan film's an interesting one for me. Because this is the only one on this list that I haven't done off, like, a full video on. Like, I did one on Apprentice. I did one on House of Black. I did one on Sleepwalker. And I've done most, um, what, some on the other two that are coming on this list in a bit. But what's interesting about this fan film is that I didn't talk about it much. Like, this is very different for me. But this fan film has great story. Because you can see characters like Rogue and the teleport girl. I forgot but like their name. But, like, Gambit really is great. And it has such a great story. Because not many fan films really tell such a polished story with Gambit going to meet his old folks to get um, Rogue. And then they have a whole fight scene. And... It's just so cool to see such, like, a weird fight scene in that way. But it really has such an amazing story, and I wish more fan films had one like this. Spider-Man Lotus goes into the hype category. And this means it really is building up hype for a film that we have no idea when it's going to release. This is supposed to release summer 2022. But there's, and I think that it's going to release when I'm up at camp, which is going to suck because I'm going up in a few weeks. But that doesn't mean videos are stopping. Oh, I already have videos scheduled to prepare. But what sucks is that you don't get to do much. Like, this fan film is really a sitting and waiting thing. Because I wish they even posted more on their channel some things. Because they've posted so many before. Like, they posted, like, so many thank yous and stuff. And now it's just, like, nothing. But, like... What we have from this film is really amazing. We don't have anything bad currently. Everything from this film we have is amazing shots and just an amazing film in general. And that's something I really wanted from a fan film. I really wanted something that was shot good, edited good. And that is a fan film I want. That is like the good fan film that you can get. And that's why I think this fan film is so outstanding because it does all those things right and we haven't even seen it but that's why i'm so excited for it that's why i've made multiple videos on it this is the fourth time it's appeared in a video it's appearing in a 0.25x speed 
It's appeared in Why Fan Films Are Amazing, in its own update. <laughs> this is the fourth time I've spoke about it because it is just so good and I'm so excited for it because it builds up great hype. And once it releases, I'm going to be a whole amazing. It's going to be just be amazing. And that's because it did so well hyping it up. Last but not least, it's Voldemort Origins in the Year with music. So, as I said, Sleepwalker, um, not Sleepwalker, Sleepwalker could have won it as well. But Sisters of House of Black could have won it, honestly, for the music. But I'd say this music is a bit different. Because, like, even though I think that music's a bit better, this does, doesn't really have anywhere else to fall. Because here's the thing with this fan film. It's good. I'm not ever disagreeing with that. This is a good fan film. The story of it is the iffy part. The editing of it is only used partially, partial time. But, the, the, but like, that's the thing with it. It has to be done well. And the music with it is very elegant, and it fits every scene it's in. And there isn't so much to say with music because... Like, like there isn't so much to say, but it sets such a great tone in a fan film like this. The, the tone that is set for music is just amazing. And I really like the music in this fan film because it sets a tone for what's to come. And yeah, like even though those opening credits, those are that's really my favorite scene in the film is I love those opening credits so much. Besides that, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm just gonna let a few more clips from this film play out. But thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I like talking about these six parts. Like, every single part I spoke about really is amazing. It's done so well. And that's why I like a film like this. But all these films are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. And see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.